10 videos of Houston Cole and in each video we will break one of his reels. In today's video we are going to learn how we can create this book animation in Adobe After Effects. This animation might look complex at the first sight, but it is only shape layers with a perspective manipulation. Now there are two ways in order to create this animation. On the first way, you can parent the layers and animate each page separately. It can be challenging when you work with too many keyframes, but the one that I will personally use for this video is the with the help of expression. We can control as many as layers that we want with a simple index expression. So what is an index? Roughly speaking, index expression returns a value based on the layer's position in the timeline. So in this example, if I have a page with the rotation of 20 degree, with the index expression applied, the second duplicated layer will get 40 degree rotation, the third one will get 60 degree rotation and it will continue until the end. So as you see, index is the key for this video. So how are we going to apply the index and the camera manipulation? Let's find out. Now, before we dig deeper, it would be really nice of you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Also, watching this video until the end will be a huge help for me to hit the monetization on the YouTube. And this will help me to dedicate more time to make more videos. Thank you so much. Now, let's continue. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we have this video. Let's watch it first. Because people judge the book by its cover. The way your content looks, sounds, and is edited. Because people judge... So as you see, we have this book animation that we have a front view of it and then the suddenly the camera changes and we have a sort of a side view of it and we have some text. So the goal of this video is to create this book. Now let's uh, start with it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn off the reel and I'm going to go towards the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a sort of a page for the book and I'm just going to set the anchor point to the left so this is going to be the bottom page and we're going to turn it into 3d so as you see in order to animate it we need to use the y rotation now the thing about the book is that if i reveal it one more time you will see that we have so many pages in here so if i if we want to do it manually so i would say that if we want to duplicate each layer and then we want to change the rotation value this will be a little bit hard so what we need to do in order to make it simplified, I'm just going to add an angle controller for the shape layer one. And I'm going to tell you why in a second that what I want to do. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. So this is going to be my second layer. And we don't need this angle controller. We just need it for the first layer. And what I want to do is that I want to use the index expression in order to control everything. So what I mean by that is that for example, if the layer one has the 20 degree rotation, the second layer gets 40 degree rotation, the third layer gets 60 degree rotation. So in these situations, we need to use the index expression. So how are we going to do that? So it's simple. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the first layer and I'm just going to lock the effect controls. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press R to reveal rotation. I'm going to hold Alt to set an expression. And then I'm going to use the pick whip tool to pick with the Y rotation to the angle controller of the shape layer one. So as you see after a fake road and expression, and we are not going to delete it, we need it, but however, we need to add a few lines in the beginning. So I'm just gonna start with the discomp and uh, same as the second uh, sentence, discomp.layer, open parentheses, and I'm gonna write index space plus space one, and then after the uh, end parentheses, I'm just going to write dot transform dot y rotation. And then at the end, I'm just going to write a plus. So this will be our expression. So now if I animate the angle controller, for example, let's say for the 20 degree. So I will say like I, I want to animate it, let's say for 20 degree. As you see, the same number will get the 20 rotation for the second layer. And now if I duplicate it and I press R, you see that the, sec the third layer has 40 degree rotation. The fourth layer will have 60. So this is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer for let's say 10 times. So as you see, now we will have the book animation like this, which is what we want. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the shape layer one and I'm going to work on the easings. So in order to do that, I'm just going to 
set the easings on 65%. This is good, but I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm just going to decrease the distance. Great. Now, one cool thing that we can do to make this book even better, we can change the render uh, machine from the classic 3D to advanced 3D. So as soon as we do that, we will have a basic lighting for our shape layer as well. But keep that in your mind that when you do on the advanced 3D, you will lose a few functions in After Effects, such as track mats, such as um, layer styles. So for now, we don't need it. However, we need to control the position of this book. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a null object. And this null object, I'm just going to call it the book controller. So this will basically control the book. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press P to reveal the position. And then when it's in here, I'm just going to push it a bit towards middle. And I'm going to set the easings on 65% as well. Now, if we get back to the book and one more time to the use and code reference, you will see that as soon as it rotates, we will have a transform rotation. So the book will have a different angle. So how are we going to animate this type of um, rotation? It's really easy. All you need to do is that you need to turn this node into 3D. And then this time we need to animate the X value. So I'm just going to set a keyframe on X position. And when it's in here, I'm just going to, you know, change it like this. So this will be our book animation. And I'm going to set it on 65% as well. So as you see, the book is really simple to animate. So we can just decrease it down a bit. It doesn't really matter. So we can de decre increase the distance so we'll have more flipping pages in between. So as you see, this will be our camera position. Now I'm not going to copycat and do it like the Houston code. But as you see, the trick is very simple. Now, if you want to push it down, you need to add another node. This will be the master controller. And I'm going to call it the master controller. And then what I need to do is that I need to parent it to the node controller. And when it's in here, we can just simply push the book down and we can work on the rotation of the book. All right, so as you see, it was really easy to create this book and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.